Good afternoon everyone, my name is Lewis, welcome back to the channel, I hope I find you all in good health. You know the drill by now, I'm going to introduce you to three albums I've taken from the vault, I'm going to talk about each album in turn and why I would recommend them to you. So let's kick off. The first album today is a 1971 release by the Nathan Davis Sextet. And the album is called Makatuka. I love saying that. Makatuka. Um, there we go. There's the album cover. Really like that one. Uh, Mr. Davis is an artist that I've never heard of before. And the reasons for me um, having this album in my collection are as follows. Um, my local uh, jazz vinyl store. Uh, which I frequent quite often in Soho, London. Um, I happened to go in there one day without a real clue as to what I was going to buy. Um, I just knew I was going to buy something. And uh, the gentleman behind the counter um, looked at me and said, oh, yeah, yeah, you're the guy who likes to buy jazz. Isn't that right? And I went like, yeah. And he said, oh, you, got, you should buy this one. Um, you're you're going to like it, I promise you. Now, normally I don't like buying albums blindly. Um, I like to listen to them first. Um, like yourselves, um, somebody can suggest something to me. I will go away, think about it, listen to it, see if it works for me. But um, due to limited time, um, I just bought it on the strength of the retailer's um, opinion. And... Um, I am pleased to say uh, Makatuka, um, once it took up residence in my collection, I never looked back. This is a really, really nice album. Um, so I would say this is an album of two distinct sides. Now, the side A um, has a certain swagger to it. Um, it's littered with sharp, gritty compositions and urban seasoning, uh, combined with subtle modal touches, which I really do appreciate. Um, it's really, really good. Now, what's quite funny is the B side, um, I almost forgot it instantly as soon as hearing it. Um, that can happen with any album in any genre that one side seems to resonate with you while the other um, is a total miss as far as you're concerned and what you're looking for and that's what happened with this particular album but yes no regrets and yeah um, i just love saying makatuka so yeah even for that alone um it was worth the purchase price the notables on this album are Nelson Harrison on trombone, Roger Humphreys on drums, and Don Depa Ortiz and Joe Kennedy share the piano duties. The tracks that I would recommend from this album, again I get to say the title track, the title name of the album as well as the title track once again, and that's Makatuka. Um, Slave March and To Ursula With Love um, Please have a listen to it on one of the streaming sites um, See what you think See if you agree with me That's the great thing about jazz and music in general We don't all have to shame, share the same opinions um, So just see what you think uh, And yeah, please do comment down below If you agree with me Or you think the B side is better than the A side Yeah so that's the first album for today. The second album, I really do enjoy this album, is a 1973 release by a gentleman called Tyrone Washington. And the album is called Roots. There we go. Sorry about the glare. Um, I found this one to be an enjoyable but visceral experience. And I'm going to get quite poetic as I'm trying to describe this album because a lot of it's to do with not just the music itself 
it's more my reaction to it what i was thinking about meanwhile listening to it so um it may sound like garbage to you but um do forgive me that's just my impression of what was going on and what i felt while listening to this album um i found this to be an unapologetic vision and execution uh, by mr washington and i greatly appreciated that um this is an urban fable filled with male archetypes or masculine compositions um, this doesn't mean that it's misogynistic in any shape way shape or form what i'm merely trying to put across to you is is that there's a complete absence of the damsel in distress motif otherwise known as the modal element in jazz this is just thumping just hard hitting jazz and i really really love it, it it's yeah it's 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 not pretending to be something that it's not it's not trying to appease anyone it's not trying to do, display any kind of delicacy it's just going here you go just 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 listen to this and here we go so it's a journey in and of itself it's not trying to be delicate with you it's not trying to hold your hand it's throwing you into a pit with a hungry bear and just saying get on with it so yeah i really did enjoy this um the notables on this album are uh, hubert eaves on piano and Stafford James on bass, who do a fantastic job on this particular album. The three tracks that I would recommend are Spiritual Light of the Universe, Roots, and Submission. So yeah, have a listen to them on one of the streaming sites. Uh, see what you think. Um, yes, this one is a reprint. Um, if you are interested in it, you will be able to find it for a reasonable price. Just like the Makatuka earlier on, yeah, you can still get hold of uh, both of these albums. It's just a question of do you like it enough? And if you do, you will be able to find it at a reasonable price. The third and last album today is probably uh, My Showstopper um, for quite a few reasons. It's a 1973 release by Billy Harper and the album is called Capra Black. That's a sweet cover, that one. Yeah, of today's bunch. Yeah, I think that's my favourite by far. Um, again, uh, these are my impressions of albums, so do forgive me um, if I make it sound super flowery, but it's just my reaction. Um, I'm not attempting to be hyperbolic for the sake of it. Um, I'm just talking about from my p perspective. Um, outside of Coltrane's Love Supreme, Mingus's Fables of Forbus or, and Ellington's Such Sweet Thunder, um, I have encountered very few genuine jazz sweets. And I don't mean confectionery when I say that. Um, Mr. Harper's Capra Black um, is certainly one that I would add to that list where it's a fully formed um, journey, a deliberate journey through music and it's trying to tell a story and it does it really, really well on this particular album. Um, there's a noticeable gospel infused power and glory to quite a few of the, the tracks on here. I think this is a superb body of work and it's totally underrated. And I wish I knew about it years before I actually came into contact with it. So please do have a listen to this one and see what you think. Um, yeah, to reiterate, um, it's a truly uplifting album on the Strata label. Notables on this particular album are Reggie Workman on bass, Julian Priestler, who I've 
introduced to you on an earlier episode on trombone, Billy Cobham, who I like Billy Cobham, Cobham um, on on drums, and sharing vocal duties are Gene McDaniel's, uh, Leveda Johnson and Barbara Grant, who do a magnificent job on this particular album. The tracks that I would highlight from this album are New Breed, Cry of Hunger, and So Fully I Love You, Stroke, Black Spiritual of Love. Um, you're in for a treat with this album, and take your time with it. Um, I'm not saying it's particularly hard work, but it, it, it's a journey in and of itself. But um, I'm super glad to have this in my collection and I should play it more than what I actually do. But yeah, this is the great thing about doing videos. You are reminded of what's in your collection and yeah, you can reacquaint yourself with things that you have temporarily forgotten in favor of newer items. So that's the last album for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me uh, this afternoon, stroke evening. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I wish you happy listening with those three items. Um, don't forget to, um, if you so choose, to leave a comment down below, letting me know what you think of each and one of these albums. Or if you've got suggestions for albums that you think I, I should be listening to, um, so, until the next episode, please do look after yourselves, um, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.